I'm going to match the color of this gray rock without using black. So the way I normally mix black would be to take Halo Blue and Quinacridone Magenta and make a bluish purple. Then this is Benzomedazolone Yellow, which is more transparent than the Hansa Yellow Opaque. And you can use that to neutralize it. I can see this is going green, so that means I need to add more Quinacridone Magenta. So it's kind of like a purplish color, maybe a little more yellow. If it's too dark, I'll add titanium white to it. And it's definitely too purple, so more yellow. It needs to go lighter. I think a little more magenta because it looks a little greenish to me. Uh, maybe a little more white and a little bit more yellow. It's pretty good. I'm going to match the color of this Granny Smith apple, so I'll start with Hansa Yellow Opaque. And I'll add Thalo Blue to make green. Titanium white to lighten it up a little bit. Needs more yellow. Needs a little bit of red or magenta to make it a little bit more neutral. I still think it needs more white. It's a pretty good match. I'm gonna match the color of this mustard and I'll start with Hansa Yellow Pig. I'll add a little bit of Pilo Red to it. Some white and a little bit of thalo blue just to darken it up. I'll add some magenta to counteract that. More white. It's pretty good. Time for some pretzels. I'm going to match the color of this red onion, and when I mix purple, I usually use quinacridone magenta. And I'll add ultramarine blue to make it more purple. It needs some white. Makes it lighter, and it also makes it a little bit more opaque. Looks a little too purple, I think maybe some magenta. too purple, it needs more magenta. Maybe a little more magenta. It's a pretty good match. Maybe a touch of like yellow to make it a little bit more muted. I would say that's a pretty close match right there. If you want to learn how to mix colors like this, check out my course where I share my strategies. I cover the materials I use including the colors and the paintbrushes. I'm going to mix the color of this loaf of bread. And I'll start by mixing Hansa Yellow Opaque with Pyrrole Red to make an orange. And then I'll add Ultramarine Blue to make it brownish. That's too much, but I can add a little bit more red to neutralize that. And it needs to go lighter. And maybe a little bit of blue. Maybe a touch of white. I think that's it right there. I'm going to match the color of this kiwi. This is Hansa Yellow Opaque and Pyrrole Red. I'll make an orange and then I'll 
use ultramarine blue to make it more brown. I think it needs titanium white. Okay, more ultramarine blue to make it darker. Ooh, that's too much. Some red. A little bit more yellow. It's pretty close, a little bit more white. Yeah, it needs to go darker. A little bit of magenta. What would I add to that? Ultramarine. What does that look like? That's pretty good. I'm going to mix the color of this pair and I'll start by mixing orange from Hansa Yellow Opaque and Pyrrole Red. These a little bit more red. Now this is too saturated so I'll add a little bit of ultramarine blue to it. And I think a little bit of quinacridone magenta. Touch of titanium white. The skin's pretty mottled. I think the darker areas would have more magenta and ultramarine blue in there, so let's see if I can get that. A little bit of white. Looks like a close match. I'm going to match the color of this dragon fruit, so I'll start with titanium white and quinacridone magenta. I'll add some Hansa yellow opaque to make it more orange. It needs more magenta. It still needs more magenta. It's pretty good right there. I'll match the color of the cracker too, so I'll start with titanium white, some cadmium orange, yellow, ultramarine blue. bit of magenta, more yellow, more white. Still needs more white. Maybe a little bit more of that blue. It needs to go lighter. It's pretty good. Maybe a little bit more white and just a small amount of magenta. pretty good. 